our second episode streaming on July 23. The University of Nueva Cáceres, home of the new Frontliners. Catch our second episode streaming on July 23. The University of Nueva Cáceres, home of the new Frontliners. Catch our second episode streaming on July 23. The University of Nueva Cáceres, home of the new Frontliners. Catch our second episode streaming on July 23. The University of Nueva Cáceres, home of the new Frontliners. Catch our second episode streaming on July 23. The University of Nueva Cáceres, home of the new Frontliners. In the University of Nueva Cáceres, we build a better tomorrow for our students with our future-ready facilities, progressive teaching methods, a nurturing culture for success. Our learn-as-you-earn programs make it easier for working students to finish college. We ensure their bright careers. It all starts here, in the heart of Bicol. The University of Nueva Cáceres by Ayala's AC Education. Nurturing better tomorrows for all. Hi, I'm Kian Hamer, a proud ambassador of the University of Nueva Cáceres. Two weeks ago, we witnessed the pilot episode of the UNC webinar series, the first ever academe-initiated webinar series in Bicolandia. And it was about how learning would continue at UNC even in the new normal. Starting this episode, we will be featuring different academic departments within the university in order to inspire confidence in UNC's design in rearing the next generation of professionals who will be doing the right things rightly so that everybody in the society would make it. The speakers will be talking about the leverage of the UNC educational system over others, the unique qualities of UNC graduates that make them stand out from the rest, and of course, the job opportunities waiting for UNC graduates. Today's episode will feature the College of Nursing and the College of Criminal Justice Education. And it is entitled, UNC, Home of the New Frontliners. We encourage you to grab a pen so that you can jot down notes which you can revisit when you are making that crucial decision of where you would entrust your dreams, aspirations, and future. Are you ready? Let's begin.
everyone, I am Christelle A. Sales, a proud UNC ambassador. This is the second episode of the UNC webinar series entitled University of Nueva Cáceres, Home of the New Frontliners. In this war we are in, where the enemy is invisible to our eyes, we have a new set of soldiers who faithfully vowed to serve humanity at all costs. They are our brave frontliners who have been fighting this battle for us. The first department to talk about why you should choose UNC is where the angels of the sick room get their wings. This is none other than the College of Nursing. Our first speaker for this forum is an alumna of BS Nursing Class of 1979 in the University of Nueva Cáceres. She took her Master of Science in Nursing at St. Paul University and joined the University of Nueva Cáceres in 2017 after 28 years of teaching and retirement from another university. Truly, UNC is blessed to have her as the Dean of the College of Nursing. Ladies and gentlemen, let us welcome Dean Tess Pambid. Hi, good afternoon everyone. Good afternoon to our viewers. Our University President, Dr. Faye Lea Patria M. Laraya, my dear parents and students, faculty, Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the College of Nursing of University of Nueva Cáceres, Naga City, Philippines. Earning a nursing degree is, I think, one of the best educational investments today. The strong demand for nursing professionals throughout the world is an indicator that nursing will remain a strong career path for many years to come. And this I consider a great challenge to us as we educate our nursing students to the behavioral and clinical expectations of the world as we provide them the best nurses, not only Filipino nurses, but as well as Bicolano and Bicolana UNCN nurses. With this in mind, we redesign our clinical approaches to bridge the theory gap by boosting their professional competence through the best learning opportunities and trainings where we foster partnership with tertiary level hospital, just like the Global Safety St. Luke's Hospital, Makati Medical Center, Fer del Mundo Medical Center, the Philippine Orthopedic Center, the National Center for Mental Health, the, San, the Hospicio de San Jose, and of course, the Bicol Medical Center, a tertiary level hospital in the Bicol region, and possibly a global engagement program. This partnership also includes employability opportunities. Another challenge is the need to advance our nursing students' communication skills. And that is why we have our English immersive program, environment program, as well as opening some foreign language subjects and certifications from Coursera or LinkedIn and other international certification programs. Another area of consideration to help them cope up with expectations of the world is the computer competencies being managed and taught by our IT experts to support the evidence-based nursing practice, improving patient's care through better data collection, information analysis, identifying patients and help friends, as well as fostering easier collaboration between healthcare professionals. These are just but some of the innovations we have made to pursue excellence in nursing education, not to mention the financial support of the university. If I'm not mistaken, we are the only private university giving scholarship to deserving nursing students. So aside from the university scholarship, we also have 
our subsidy from the Commission on Higher Education, as well as our generous sponsor. We have the UNC Nursing Alumni Association International based in United States, which is also giving scholarship for our deserving nursing students headed by the now president, Mom Carol Villaluz and former president, Mom Esther Vasquez. And with the approval of the board of trustee for this year, they're adding another one for a full scholarship from second year to fourth year, including other fees, even the affiliation fees or the Manila affiliation fees has been part of this scholarship. So these are the things that I consider uniqueness in the UNC College of Nursing. With these innovations that we have, we expect UNC and nurses not only to be confined in the four walls of the hospital or of the community, but as well as nurse clinician, nurse specialist, clinical researchers, nurse educators, disaster and emergency nurse specialists, family nursing practitioners, and most of all, possibly nurse administrators as well as innovative nurse leaders. So my dear parents, what are you waiting for? Come and enroll. Your, your students to the UNC College of Nursing where everybody makes it in a nurturing environment. Thank you.
Magandang hapon po sa inyong lahat. I'm Faye Natividad, a proud UNC ambassador. Kasama pa rin ninyo kami dito sa first ever Academ Initiated Webinar Series in Bicolandia. Ito po ang episode 2, University of Nueva Cáceres, home of the new frontliners. From routine checkups to critical emergencies, a nurse is by our side. Highly competent, deeply committed. Care provider, life savers. We join the world in celebrating our frontliners. Makakasama natin ngayong hapon ang isang future frontliner. She is an incoming third year student nurse, a President Jaime Hernandez Scholar and a former student ambassador, an achiever and an advocate of servant leadership, a future healthcare professional. Let's get to know Ms. Ray Ann Calatrava. First, I would like to express my gratitude for the opportunity to deliver a speech in behalf of my department. It is a great opportunity to share my experiences as a student, especially to my fellow students who are aspiring to be a nurse someday. I always remember the clinical instructors saying that studying nursing isn't as easy as it seems. You have to earn to wear the cap, the pin, and the clinical uniform. I am in coming third year and still have to work hard for less than two years, but I already experienced the roller coaster ride. Sometimes you think you know something, but turns out it isn't enough. Sometimes you think you'll fail a quiz or an exam, and you did, but sometimes you pass. You have to wake up early for a 7 a.m. class and prepare to have a straight six hours or more for a lecture. You have to study and memorize double or triple as you did during high school to assure that you have covered seven or more chapters for final examination. This isn't a trap or a warning, but a description of what nursing school is like. You learn to be flexible of everything from having a 30 minutes lunch break and less than five hours of sleep. You'll learn to socialize and be emphatic because you'll be dealing with different and unique walks of life. You see, this realization isn't taught in anatomy and physiology or pharmacology, but we experience this in hospital and community setting and constant advices from our clinical instructors. UNC College of Nursing is preparing the students of what real world is beyond what is written in the textbooks. But above all, it is a great experience and fun knowing that all of these will bear a fruit someday. Even when we are still a student, we are experiencing what ner truly nurses experience. Like we are already addressed as a nurse during our hospital setting affiliation. Patient doesn't just receive the care from us, but they offer the sense of fulfillment whenever they are being discharged and going home to their families well, and even just a simple smile whenever they are expressing their gratitude. Studying nursing isn't just about studying. Tuition fees are reasonably high compared to other courses but UNC made it possible for students like me who cannot afford fields like that. I am a President Jaime Hernandez Scholar, and I must say I am entitled as privileged for having tuition fee granted, but at the same time, I have to work hard to maintain my scholarship. It is not a joke indeed, but because in nursing, Quizzes and exams are not the only things to be considered in competition for grades, but also the performance and execution of the procedures, both in laboratory and hospital setting. How would I make it? That's the question I always have in mind, but there are people who are helping me throughout this journey. In our department, I see how students support each other. We lend each other's notes and share each other's information about a specific topic. I must say in our college, we made a bond because as Dean loves to say, no one should be left behind. Aside from the UNC scholarship, some of our clinical instructors 
were once graduates of UNC and their previous batches have been funding students to help them finish nursing school. You see, even if they are already through with their studies, they know how to look back and help students like they were before. Currently, we are facing pandemic with its new normal. We usually view and hear in the news about the heroism of our frontliners. Nurses are one of them. We have to admit that we are having shortage of medical professional here in our country. Studying nursing may be hard, but UNC have taught us to be socially responsible. Our country needs our service. As stipulated in the department's vision, a new breed of nurses determined to continue the tradition of excellence, imbued with the virtues of integrity, respect for person, justice, and solidarity as they effectively respond to the changing healthcare needs of the society and the world. Even before the advent of new normal, our department have always been dedicated to train future nurses amidst the changes in the healthcare industry. As they always inculcate in our minds, as nurses, you always have to be flexible, to adapt, to cope, and to survive. Taking up nursing isn't just about a career in hospital setting. There are myriad of avenues where you can practice nursing as you graduate. In the community where nurses are being deployed in barangays and municipalities, a school nurse, a company nurse, or in the academe like clinical instructors. If you really wish to work in a hospital, you can also specialize in different fields of healthcare where you can earn advanced knowledge and skills. If you want to discover new knowledge, you can be a clinical, clinical researcher. You can also be a nurse entrepreneur where you can establish your own business inclined in the field. Nursing is a preparatory course for medicine for those who want to be a physician someday. Being a nurse doesn't stuck you in hospital work you can try and discover other careers while practicing nursing. It is too early to say that graduation is just in the corner, but I am confident that when we graduate, we are not just equipped with the lessons, understanding how complex and structured human body is, but most of all, how we willingly extend our hands to help our patients as they recuperate or face their limitations in life. And that is what makes UNC College of Nursing graduates unique because once you have signed for it, the training started as well. To my fellow students, I know that this is a whole new thing, but I believe that we are not alone in this. UNC and our college is making its way to make it bearable for us. Once again, thank you and good afternoon. everyone, this is Christelle and welcome back to the second episode of the UNC webinar series. The frontliners put the health and the lives of the people above anything else, even if it means risking theirs in the process. Truly, no words of gratitude will ever be enough to express the admiration that we have for them right now. The next department to talk about why you should choose UNC is where the new breed of law enforcers and public servants are being honed. This is none other than the College of Criminal Justice Education. The first speaker from this department is a woman with a warrior's heart. This stunning lady is a second-year criminology student and an ROTC officer of her batch. She is the Miss Intercriminology 2020 first runner-up and also an EIE champion and influencer. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Cadet 2nd Lieutenant Angelica Villarino 3CL. 
Good afternoon. Before I start, I wanted to extend my deepest appreciation and sincere recommendation to all who have risked and sacrificed their lives for fellow Filipinos. Napi salute, sir, ma'am, for your service amidst this COVID-19 pandemic. So my talk will highlight my department, the criminal justice education, and its significance in different crises that the world might face, might face like the pandemic, the COVID-19. We do know that criminology graduates are in demand in the Philippines, and a lot of jobs are opening for applications. To start with, why do I chose criminology? And what will I become someday? Why do I want to study in the University of Neva Cáceres? Let's answer these questions right away. First, it is the most exciting and interesting course for me. Why? From the word criminology, it is the study of crime, criminals, and criminal behavior. Crime. How will you know or determine a specific act as crime? You will know it if you study criminology. Second, the study of criminals. Ah, oh, criminals. She or he will not be called criminal if that person is proven guilty beyond reasonable doubt by court of the crime committed. Criminal behavior. Is it really a behavior of a person to commit crime? Why do they commit it again and again? Uh, maybe it's a psychological disorder or caused by the environment. So you know already what is criminology all about. Next, you will gain a lot of philosophy in life. We are not perfect. God has forgiven us with our mistakes and given us second chances or more. Just like the criminal, the crime violators, they deserve it too, but they have first to admit and serve their sentences. Second philosophy that I've learned in criminology is that our individual differences. All criminals are not the same. For example, criminal A committed theft while criminal B committed rape. So technically, they are not the same. They still have the unique characteristic within them. Crop the mentality that all criminals are the same because they are not, okay? So let's move on. What are the job opportunities after I graduate? Um, am I making, am I too fast? So let's have it. Very first thing is to pass the board exam and the rest will follow. You'll become a registered criminologist. You can now apply either private or public sector. In private sector, you can build a security agency, a review center, and etc. It's up to you. It's your choice. Second, in public sector, you can apply at any government agencies. Like for the Tri-Bureau, we have the Bureau of Fire Protection, the Philippine National Police, the Bureau of Jail Management and Penology, and if you have the skills and the urgent to serve the Philippines, you can apply at the Armed Forces of the Philippines. The Philippine Army, Philippine Marine, Philippine Navy, Philippine Air Force, and many more. If you are a registered criminologist, you can be a dactyloscopy, a study of fingerprinting, police photography, polygraphy, ballistics, and etc. There are a lot of job opportunities when you are a criminology graduate and you are a registered criminologist. And next, when you study criminology, it is a pre-law course. In criminology, we study a lot of law-related subjects. If you plan to continue studying and earn your master's degree to be a lawyer, doctor, or prosecutor someday. To wrap it up, in criminology, it is not always the physical strength, but also the intellectual abilities in solving crimes in our society, and especially in our country. So if you are wondering that I am a female pop, I chose criminology because as a woman, I wanted to break the stigma that men are above women, because we are all equal to take up space in the society. I wanted to prove that what men can do can also be done by women. Lastly, why do I chose to study in University of Nueva Cáceres? Simply because their graduates are unique. 
oops, yes, I am not yet a graduate, but I am aiming to be to finish my studies and be a graduate. In UNC, they produce graduates who are proficient in English communication and employment ready. So I suggest you enroll in UNC. I am also a working student as a um, student assistant in the university. So the question is, are you ready to make your choice for you to make your life better? The decision is in your hands. Join us and unlock the warrior in you. Snappy salute. Once again, I'm Angelica from University of Nueva Cáceres Criminology Department. In the University of Nueva Cáceres, we build a better tomorrow for our students with our future-ready facilities, progressive teaching methods, a nurturing culture for success. Our learn-as-you-earn programs make it easier for working students to finish college. We ensure their bright careers. It all starts here, in the heart of Bicol. The University of Nueva Cáceres by Ayala's AC Education. Nurturing better tomorrows for all. Peacemakers, public defenders, and protectors. They serve us from the road to the rescue. With the help of the Dean of the College of Criminal Justice Education, Dean Sherlyn Esplana, the University of Nueva Cáceres nurtures the next law enforcers. Ngayong hapon, makikilala natin ang isa sa kanila. A second-year criminology student, a consistent academic achiever and CHED scholar, a student leader and influencer, a future law enforcer. Let's meet Mr. Francis Carl Aragon, Senora. Thank you, Ms. Faye, for that wonderful introduction. To our dearest president, deans, and faculty, to those who are attendees, good afternoon. So how are you? Are you all just fine? Feeling sick? No, you should not. At the outset, allow me to thank the organizer and participant of this webinar during this new normal. I hope you are all just fine seeing me because you can't do anything about it, <laughs> all right? It's just a few, min few minutes of your time. Besides, we better get used to it since this is and will be the new normal. Kakalungkot sanang isipin, but then we need to accept it. Before anything else, I would like to commend the organizer of this webinar for putting all of us together. It's nice to see that the millennials are able to cope up during this time, hard time. So I hope gising yung lahat for this webinar. Thumbs up if yes. Again, I am Francis Carle Senora, representing our beloved department, Criminal Justice of Education. So first, why I am here? Honestly, I don't know either. But kidding aside, an opportunity brought me here to speak and share my experience before you. An opportunity would be my main point for today's webinar. Just like when I received a message late in the evening, asked me to be a speaker. I don't know what the response. I was shocked, I was um, surprised. But look at me right now. I am here in front of you. Um, grab the opportunity to speak right away before all of you. So yes, isa po ako, um, criminology student of the University of Nueva, Nueva Cáceres and currently on my second year. But um, probably, marami pa rin nagtatanong, bakit daw criminology yung kinuha ko? Why did I choose criminology as my course? Bakit hindi ako nag engineering or accountancy? At the many um, courses available, why criminology? At the many university, why UNC? So yung mga dalasang mga tanong. First, I took criminology because this is what I want. Of course, this is my life. So your course is your choice. Your life. It's your choice. That's why kung gusto mo pabaya yung sarili mo, it's up to you. Because in the end, you will be the one who suffer. 
And remember, whatever course you will take will be your next, will be your life for the next four to five years. So as much as possible, make sure that it is what you really want. Sabi nga nila, always do what you love if you cannot love what you do. It's always a matter of what you are passionate about. So if you are seeing yourself as a law enforcer, as someone who is willing to dedicate your life in the service of others, if you want to be someone who upholds the right and puts the safety of others as a priority, then criminology is, bet, is the best fit for you. I must admit that this course is never easy, physically, emotionally, and mentally. May mga times nga na pati yung pagjojowa is naapektuhan na. Gladly for me, I'm single. You'll have those highs and lows. You'll have to sacrifice some um, family time, me time. But I tell you this, if you really love or if you are really passionate about it, fulfillment comes easy. And you will always find ways to navigate through those hardships and focus on your goal. Especially now, with this new normal, our police officers are in great service at, as frontliners. They become the peacemakers. They collaborate with our health workers just to ensure that we lessen the impact of COVID-19. Most of the uniformed men are entrusted with the responsibility of assisting our people. That's why choosing criminology here at the University of Nueva Cáceres was one of the best decisions I ever made. Supportado tayo ng department. Mahal tayo ng CJA family. I've witnessed how the department treat all its students equally. Our program is designed for us to be effective and efficient members of the law enforcing body of the country. We are trained to be compassionate and work with integrity. So, so lahat na nandito sa webinar ngayon, I am confident that should you choose UNC criminology track, our country will be in a better side. We will be the change makers for the better. Okay ba? Give me a thumbs up. So, so and this, you see, opportunities are there. Choices are there. Examine yourselves on what you are really passionate about. Then make that bold choice. Let me be biased here and tell you, choose UNC, choose criminology. In this new normal, we are, all, we are all called to be in service of others. Start by making that brave choice. Start by choosing UNC as your school of choice. Again, thank you for tuning in. And please, please, please keep safe and healthy. God bless. In the University of Nueva Cáceres, we build a better tomorrow for our students with our future-ready facilities, progressive teaching methods, a nurturing culture for success. Our learn-as-you-earn programs make it easier for working students to finish college. We ensure their bright careers. It all starts here, in the heart of Bicol. The University of Nueva Cáceres by Ayala's AC Education. Nurturing better tomorrows for all. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. You are still watching the second episode of the UNC webinar series, the first ever academe initiated webinar series in Bicolandia. We are down to the last portion of our webinar, the question and answer. The first question is for Dean Tess. It's from Grace Azuela, a nursing student. The question is, how are we going to learn the fundamentals of nursing given that there is no face-to-face -face instruction? Hi, good afternoon, Ms. Ezuela. Thank you for answering such question. In that way, I will all be able to clarify with you how are we going to strategize for you to be able to gain your competence, especially that uh, we require, of course, the related learning experience and the skills laboratory in the, in the nursing degree program. Now, uh, this is what we are doing in nursing, not only during this pandemic, but even before we strategize that we try to finish first our theoretical or didactic. So 
all the lectures will be done first. And of course, we still have the remaining uh, skills lab and that will be taken care of uh, as we have scheduled our catch up classes. And that could probably be on semestral break or even on December break or even in summer. So we will not let you proceed to the next level until you finish all of this. And to assure you, the clinical instructors are more willing to have this scheduled. So we will be able to comply with the requirements of TED as well as the PRC requirements in terms of the number of hours. Although with the pandemic, no, there are also moves from, from CHED and even the technical panel of uh, CHED uh, for nursing uh, program, uh, they are also trying to come up with some leniency. No? So even the number of uh, OR cases for this year, we were asked to submit no, the number of cases, especially for those schools with problems in completion with this. And they are trying also to negotiate this with the PRC. So don't worry. We will be giving you all the opportunities to be able to uh, learn all the competencies that you should be uh, complying with. So thank you. I think you are already enrolled in our program, Ms. Azuela. Thank you for the trust. Thank you very much, Dean Tess. The next question is from a BS criminology student. So this is for Ms. Angelica Villarino. The question is, what motivates you to prove that women are equally capable of taking roles traditionally assigned to men? Thank you for that wonderful question. Maybe what motivates me is that my family, and also the women in, in the society which are above, I, which takes the role of uh, a man. For example, we have the Philippine National Police, we have the chief who are women, and in our government, we have the Vice President, Mom, Sir, Mom Lenny Robredo. Um, for me, it is a good privilege that, me, that women will take up space in society because just like the millennials right now, they try to prove that we are also capable of doing it. So my motivation would be my parents that they motivate me to become a police officer someday. That would be all. Thank you. Um, we have another question from a nursing student. So this question is for you again, Dean Tess. The question is, as a future frontliner, what characteristics should I develop? Hi, good afternoon again. Of course, if you heard earlier, I mentioned not only the clinical competence that is required by the world, but even the behavioral competence. That is the reason why in nursing, you are graded not only on your knowledge, not only on your skills, but also on your attitude. So as a, as a frontliners, we need really to be patient enough. In this, uh, in this case or in these situations, we are always the normal individual. We can always understand patient. So our commitment, our commitment to the service of the people, especially now with the pandemic, we are always uh, encouraged to motivate not only us, but all other healthcare professionals to continue collaborating with each other, coordinating with each other to be able to serve mankind. And of course, you have been uh, hearing news that even in other parts of the world, even in United States, the Filipino nurses are still being considered the best among the nurses. Even American doctors have paid tribute to Filipino nurses because of our commitment, of our patience, of our uh, generosity, of our kindness, of our professional competence. And of course, these are said to be our 
behavior, positive attitudes, and that is the essence of being in the UNC College of Nursing because we try to nurture everyone in spite of the difficulties that you are encountering because you know how hard it is to study some of the concepts, but still the positive attitudes, the calmness within us and the inspiration of enriching our spirituality is always part of being a professional nurse. So our trust, our hope in God is always a part of our professional growth. So thank you for that question. There you have it, ladies and gentlemen. That concludes our question and answer portion. I hope that this episode will make you realize that you belong in an institution where everybody makes it, and that is UNC. In the University of Nueva Cáceres, we build a better tomorrow for our students. With our future-ready facilities, progressive teaching methods, a nurturing culture for success, our Learn As You Earn programs make it easier for working students to finish college. We ensure their bright careers. It all starts here, in the heart of Bicol. The University of Nueva Cáceres by Ayala's AC Education. Nurturing better tomorrows for all. For months, while the rest of us are hiding away from the virus in the comfort of our own homes, together with our loved ones, there are people who are literally putting their lives on the line just so this virus would not reach our doorsteps. They went out when everyone else was going in, braved up when everyone else was afraid, risked their lives when everyone else was preserving theirs. They are our heroes in this war, and surely history will forever remember them as those who made our race's survival possible. And it is for this reason that we are blessed to have institutions like University of Nueva Cáceres, fully committed to rear new generations of selfless, brave, and competent frontliners who will protect us from all the evil that threaten us and our way of life. Jos Mabalos, UNC. Jos Mabalos, Frontliners. So, this concludes the second episode of our webinar series entitled University of Nueva Cáceres, home of the new frontliners. We hope that we enlighten you in one way or another why UNC should be your school of choice. Thank you for staying with us until the end. Please stay tuned for the next episodes of the UNC webinar series. Jos Mabalos sa Indoga Bos. In the University of Nueva Cáceres, we build a better tomorrow for our students. With our future-ready facilities, progressive teaching methods, a nurturing culture for success. Our Learn As You Earn programs make it easier for working students to finish college. We ensure their bright careers. It all starts here, in the heart of Bicol. The University of Nueva Cáceres by Ayala's AC Education. Nurturing better tomorrows for all.